Hello and welcome back to another game on Arena. You wanna go on between Dark Noob playing in yellow as the Goth and we have Bob the Broccoli playing in blue as Saracens. I hope this is going to be an interesting Civ matchup. I'm not really sure which one is the better civilization here. Saracens have very strong monks, a very decent smash against monks, against Goth. It might be an option here. Goth, of course, has got very strong in Castle Age and then that, uh, that Imperial Age with all that infantry is really strong if you can get there. So the problems for Goth will probably be in castle age and Saracens might struggle in, in pure age later on but I'm not sure how this game will be going and uh, I'm really interested to see how the players are going to play this out oh it's not gonna be a trash game because that would be sad for me but okay it can happen then I'm gonna fast forward here second goal for dark noob safe in the back which is nice to have two boars safe inside so here's the god that doesn't need to delete the walls even the deer four of them inside third goal on the right hand side close to the walls but outside main stone forward then we have the main Gold also forward, not the best map ever. That second stone is forward outside, so if Puppet Broccoli is actually going aggressive, Dark Noob might be uh, uh, hungry for stone and might be in trouble for that. Let's see if Dark Noob is going for an early castle here, or we might see a Actually, we could see stables, scouts. We might see some, uh, just some boom and trying to defend against potential monkers or something. But um, I fear, like, if Bro Broccoli is really going aggressive, the stone might be a problem. And God, without at least one castle, it's really tough to play. The second boar already in, which is good for Dark Noob. I think we've seen pretty much everything there is to know. One really close to his base here on this side. This one technically in a neutral zone, I guess a little bit closer to Dark Noob as well. This one close to his base. Uh, and even the number four here, close to an extra gold, is somewhat closer to Dark Noob. So the relic advantage definitely goes to him. Let's see how Bob the Broccoli's map looks like. Bob has the main gold on the side. This is actually quite decent. I think he should be happy with that. Second stone safe on the back. So gold and stone rather safe. Main stone on the side here. Third gold on the left hand side. This outside side one really close to the space here and I'm missing something I'm missing one gold a second gold second and third I'm not sure which is which doesn't really matter it's outside it's forward so both uh, second and third gold are outside there's an extra stone here on the left I think that's the extra stone yeah that's one in, in the space so we have an extra stone close to space as well and we've seen one extra gold on the right there's another one on the left hand side as you can see here extra berries too but it doesn't really matter I guess we don't have a trash and I'm really happy about this three villages on gold for the Saracens and it's easy to buy some food if you need it but there is deer inside of his base as well I guess uh, was, was three four deer too and that's really nice to have so the food income should be safe and we have a 24 population plus two 26 pop-up it's really fast I hope to see a smash here and I'm really uh, curious to see how Dark Noob is going to defend against this we might see barracks coming up for Dark Noob very soon and there it is I don't think we're gonna see archers uh, I'd rather s uh, go with the scouts here three farms two plus one, two up and running already, and Dark Noob has two lumber camps, one a little bit more in the back here actually, we might see a TC later on, I'm not sure here, but then you don't have any space for farms around, so maybe like here would be really decent, and he's not on stone, so we're not going to see an early castle, I think he knows that a smash might be coming, so an early castle uh, doesn't really help you a lot. Stable and blacksmith coming up in the back here, so the stable as expected. And we have a lot of villagers on gold now for Bob the Broccoli, that's actually five, nine, eight of them, uh, soon to be nine. What is the villager doing? Uh, going to the stone in the back, we're going to see a classic Saracen smash apparently. Going for a stone, selling stone then to get some more gold in. I think for some, like a few hundred stone it's... Uh, pretty cost effective as far as I remember at least two villagers going forward double monastery coming up one monastery only and the stone is gone actually not sure when he sold it uh, we have one monastery double monastery on the way there it is uh, 500 gold in the bank cast age only coming for dark noob and halfway there but uh, not finished yet there's one scout out still for Bob we have dark noob going with the second and third scout I guess where's the number three there's one on the left one here in the middle and there's number three. Villager doesn't have loom, but there is the scout still around, and of course the mom production is starting. Siege workshop on the way. Double siege workshop, uh, double uh, monastery and siege workshop. Classic smash, more or less, I guess. And now the question is, with the light cap upgrade for Darknum coming in, how uh, difficult will it be to defend against that? Yeah, really classic smash. Double stable, though. So no extra TCs for now. Instead, we're going to see a lot of light cap production, a lot of farms already up for Darknum. That's like, not sure. Is it 20 farms? Uh, not 20, but maybe like 16, 17. Let's find out. 
actually 17 farmers and we have a ram in that siege workshop we have the monks without sanctity as for of now but sanctity on the way and that ram is going to go through those walls really fast here as for dark noob he's got two plus two light calf in the back here three on the field and i think bob might need to add in some spearmen to make sure that those monks are not going to die too fast so uh, interesting stuff happening in this game um, wondering is it really that that easy to defend uh, a second tc coming up for dark noob only now about 36 villagers but of course those monks are tough to deal with and bob has enough stone for a castle it's not for selling it's actually uh, for a castle now and there is like eight monks eight nine of them and the castle coming forward there's the light cap coming in let's slow down to see how good bob is with the micro of the monks i think he started a little bit late also the light cap coming in from behind those villagers they have loom but there is so many light cap on the field it's like a dozen now and let's see two three four conversions Ooh, not bad how many monks are still around i don't see it switch i can see three the villagers still building i think bob should have walled his villagers in and now there's more light cap moving in as well Light cap advantage for Dark Noob here. Bob the Broccoli is in trouble, as you can see, because if that castle is not going up and all the villagers are going to die, we're gonna see a town center here on the main gold. That ram is not really doing a lot. Ooh, don't take the TC down. Is it going down? Wow, that was bad from Dark Noob. Little victory here. You never should go with a T near TC where that uh, ram is closed. Little mistake, but Bob lost all his monks. He lost uh, a few of those villagers. I think one or two of them might have made it back. I'm not sure about it. And the castle is now coming up at home. So we're gonna need to fast forward a little bit to see how this game is going to continue. Light cap attacking at Siege Workshop. I don't expect to see any uh, Siege units coming up from this one. And Bob is still going for monks, but only got four of them. I guess Dark might need to move back very soon. Bob is actually moving out. Yeah, and of course he's moving back here. Now Dark needs to buy another 100 stone to get a 30C up and running. A 30C coming up. That's the second rest of 30C. Wait, does he have three? No, it's two. Where's the 30C? On the stone outside interesting nice approach that uh, doesn't go for the main goal but uh, that was a really bad move from dark noob and <laughs> already i could see it coming and there it happened we have mameluk production starting that's an awesome counter against Lightcalf. Ooh, this is gonna be really interesting. I think I haven't seen a Saracen Smash with Mamelukes against uh, the Goth here. Now we have a few relics inside the Monastery for Dark Noob. He's on plus 10 villagers, plus 9 now. He's got that second TC up and running for some time. 30 TC is up now. And he's gonna go for that castle, obviously. That's what he wants to do. The monks are moving forward once again. There is an outpost coming up with the villagers. And Bob has five villagers for it, but then far from enough stone to get a castle up he spines the stone and that's the saracen market uh, that is so so tough to beat uh, yeah like that castle was really cheap compared to any other civilization maybe except the franks and we have two mangonels attacking the tc we have a few mamluks around we have 10 monks once again where's the light calf from dark Nob? they're all standing outside a dozen light calf doing nothing here Literally, literally nothing. And that castle is going up. The Mamluks have free pass to go to any villages that are on those farms. To take them out. There's two monks from Dark Noob. I like this idea. Gold mining on the way from him as well. But only ooh, one monk Mamluk converted. And another monk to uh, maybe get another conversion. Yes, very effective from Dark Noob here. He's losing that main TC. He's got a castle inside his base that is uh, going to be tough to uh, play around. But uh, we have... Uh, Ooh, like you have going forward? No, the castle actually securing the entrance. And we have Dark Noob without real resistance as the Lightcaps are still on the outside. Loom only coming up now. There is a Mangonel inside a second on the way. But it looks like Dark Noob wants to go for Imperial Age actually and not invest into more military units. He's moving the villages forward. The build TC on. Ooh, I didn't see this. What is happening here? This is open. Lightcap moving in. And that's tough for Bob. At the same time, he's trying to raid as much as possible. But the real action is happening with the Lightcap inside a space. Not sure how we got in. Maybe there was an opening here maybe just went through the main gate that is not uh, available any longer i don't even know how this went down it looks like he just deleted it i'm not sure about it maybe it was the ram we have mangano going down to those mamelukes so you're more or less in a base trade situation not really it's a raiding against the raiding situation but there is another castle up where that main t scene was bob is in a really really decent position redemption on the way for him now and dark noob now and over close to clicking up to purage what happened where did he spend the food does he go for more Wait, what is happening where's that there was 800 food in the bank does he go for any more villagers only there's a few villagers queued up is it going to be light calf 
I'm really surprised to see the food come from his solo, and I don't see any Imperial Age upgrade. No, not happening. More TCs on the way. So he's going for the uh, Mass Villagers approach, going with another castle to defend this TC, but the monks are around to convert villagers, and this castle is only on 22%. Uh, as long as this castle is What's up for Dark Noob? He's gonna have a secure gold and a yeah, very crowded wood line. This is not beautiful. This is not pretty at all. But Dark Noob is spreading all over the map now. This is like like Star in Master Arena 3 against Eddie's Mayans. who went with, I don't know, 40 elite skirmishers and went, uh, went on to win the game in the end. A tower to stop this castle from going up 49%. Very interesting approach from Bob here, but very effective as well. This castle is gonna be tough to actually build. And the village is now trying to move in. Dark Noob is gonna force the villagers. In the meantime, on the left hand side, he is getting a completely new economy, a lot of farms coming up, maybe a mill in between would be nice. And there's still Light Cave inside, look at this, another raiding happening, only 37 villagers, 4 bob, he's got a lot of gold and food in the bank, almost able to click up to Imperial Age, but it's not happening yet. And those villagers, they are not secure at all, so he doesn't really have an economy, a working economy, the main gold is out. And he's now moving forward to uh, build another mining camp on a third gold or a second gold, uh, depends on how you see it. And in the meantime, more Towers on the way. That castle is really worth all the 650 stone and more. Dark Noob could uh, buy his way up to Imperial Age. That's what's happening now. He's doing Anarchy to go for some Haskells here. Berg's coming up on the outside. Maybe he just wants to really go for the base trade and like take down uh, Bob's uh, base completely and have enough economy left to win this game. Squires and Scale Mill Armor. Bob was on a good way, but then he lost all the monks in the first attempt and now he allowed Dark Noob to boom out and boom a lot in the left. Bob is the first to click up to Imperial Age though, and this is really interesting to me. I wasn't expecting this. Dark Noob, again, spending a lot of food on those Haskells. He is not aiming for any Imperial Age. It doesn't really help him a lot, that's true. And I think Dark Noob knows that he can win this in Castle Age and maybe only in Castle Age. There is one, two, three ramps to take away those towers. He actually managed to get that castle up. Very important to see. And now Bob will start to go for those trebuchets. And by the time those traps are up, Dark Noob needs enough Haskells to actually counter this. Otherwise, he's going to lose his original base. Maybe he can afford it. To be honest, I don't think uh, Bob knows anything about the extra base here. He cannot see the farms. Now he's got that outpost. He can see a TC. He can see the Siege Workshop is moving there with a few Mamelukes to stop the Ram from actually opening his base once again. And in the meantime, we're gonna see Handcart and Arson, Pikeman upgrade coming up. And no trebuchets yet. Actually, uh, oh no, it's not up to Imperial Age. Now there's the first trap on the way, I guess. And uh, the second trap, too expensive. Bob doesn't have a working economy. He's got 28 villagers. Four of them are idle. A lot of villagers on gold here. Doesn't really have a wood line. He lost so many villagers here. And there's more Haskells moving in. Dark Noob is gonna have one problem. There is no villagers left to actually take down. There are a few on those gold that you cannot see. There is one uh, sad I'm looking yeah, a few more coming up but Bro uh, Bob is calling the Chi Chi getting raided inside his base oh I can't remove the fog of war no it works and even though he's got the advantage of going for trebuchets not to take the castles down he will never have all the army that he needs to actually do a uh, significant damage and we have 152 villagers from Dark Blue what an amazing game to be honest God against Saracens can be really really interesting I love to see this smash the classic smash with the castle coming up if that castle went up if he was uh, faster to convert those light cap if he had like five spearmen, then this game could have gotten completely different. But Dark Noob reacted correctly, lost the TC here, which he didn't really need to, but then went for a very big boom. And the Haskells, Lightcap first, and then Haskells did the trick. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games. GG.